Hey Pokemon trainers, welcome back to another edition of Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Welcome. Um, it's Sunday. Man, I just want to record a couple of games. Um, geez, lately we've been getting stomped into the ground. Uh, my play has not been stellar, uh, I will admit to that. But I am learning a new deck, um, and we are uh, learning how to play against some of these new decks. So um, I guess I'll just continue doing that um, and try to get this ladder pushed up a little bit higher. Uh, as we can see here, we got only have one more day. So hopefully we can grab this other pack today and then allow that thing to reset. I do want to get back up to 500 coins because I think I don't like this Storm Stormcaller deck. Um, and I think that other um, fire deck, the Volcano one, is a little bit more interesting uh, in my opinion. So I'm going to strive to try and pick that up uh, and start practicing for that. But for now, let's uh, continue doing a little bit more Storm Caller. Let's jump into a game and see what our opponent has in store. Hope you guys are having a really good Sunday. I am so far. Um... On the nice long three-day weekend hopefully we get to take out a Garchomp today that would just make this a weekend complete um, do we want to go first no we want to go second to prevent that first turn ascension on the uh, on the gibble if the uh, if our opponent does get that up there so we do get a Raikou coming right up and a butt ton of energy um, so let's see what we can do with this. Um, hopefully I can get a Mareep in hand uh, and onto the board and get that Ampharos. Um, I've been finding with this deck that uh, I've been really pushing for like Ampharos and Raikou and trying to get that combo um, set up and done. But I think I've been pushing for it too hard. Um, so I think I need to chill on it a little bit and just sort of take what, what comes to me. Um, in this case it is a lot of energy but uh, I th we're just going to have to deal with it I guess for, for the time being. Uh, we did grab a Howl, so I think I'm going to throw out a Howl first. And we did get the Mareep. And luckily we did get a Furfru as well. Uh, we have the Flaffy, so I think I am going to start throwing energy onto Raikou. Um, and we'll just stand by uh, here for a moment. A couple of these other Pokemon up here I haven't seen in a while, like old uh, Type Null here and Hippopotas. Look at that thing getting out of the sun all right let's uh let's throw flappy in um poi pole would be nice to have at this moment uh so would ampharos but i think we're just gonna have to wait a moment let's just throw down a little bit of damage on hippopotas that thing's pretty cool Yeah, I think I just need to, to put in a little bit more time with this deck to sort of learn it a bit better. I do like that uh, like that sort of uh, combo that we get off of the uh, the Ampharos, but as we can see here, it's a bit difficult to, to get set up early in the game. Um, I'll go ahead and put an energy onto Flaffy, just in case we need to put Ampharos in. Okay. We're just going to continue chipping away here at the old Hippopotas. He does have an escape board. Um, but I think he's going to try and let it die. Um, I'm not sure if I want to kill it at this moment. Uh, so I think I'm going to hold off from killing it at this moment. And I'm going to just put an energy onto Flaffy. Actually, you know what? I am going to kill it because it doesn't really matter. He has the escape board on there. Uh, let me see what the escape board does. Let me make sure. Is one less. Okay. So I will hold off on killing it right now. Let's put in the let's put it down. another energy onto Flaffy. Um, I'm gonna stall for one more turn, and we'll see if we can draw into something a little bit better. I'm not gonna play Lady right now. We'll just hold on to that for now. And I'll just leave this Hippopotas as it is. Because um, it really can't escape uh, for a little bit here unless my opponent has a switch or something like that. So I'll just bide my time a little bit more and try to get that Ampharos, which is not looking good. Let's go ahead and do this. 
Uh, we'll stall again. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I'm not sure if this is going to be a viable strategy. Um, but I do want to kind of want to keep that gibble from coming in and just start ascending all over the place. Um, just until I can grab uh, something that's a little bit more useful. So we can't put another Raikou on the board. Let's do that. And I'll do that. And having that signal with me on a Flaffy might be a little bit interesting in the future. Um, so let's go ahead and kill the Hippopotas. Uh, force our opponent to waste that little bit of energy. Uh, there's our Ampharos. Excellent. So it looks like we're going to be able to paralyze this uh, Gabite coming out. Uh, we're going to be able to get a bit of... Uh, Good stuff going and having lady in hand is going to be good because we're going to be able to uh to pull off that uh that unseen flash or hidden flash unseen flash rather so there's the gabite and i expect we are going to get the garchomp here in a moment off of the ascension but we do have our unseen flash we have our lady um Pretty set. Pretty set. I think we're going to be able to take out this Garchomp fairly easily. Um, so let's go ahead and get Lady out. We'll grab four of those. Let's put in our Ampharos. I'm going to put another energy onto Raikou. We're going to Unseen Flash. Get rid of those. And we're going to take a big old chunk of damage out of this Garchomp. Very nicely done. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think uh, stalling for those two turns was really, really helpful. Because um, it allowed us to, to build up a little bit more onto our deck. Uh, and get that, that big Ampharos out. And even if we lose this Raikou, it doesn't matter. We have another Raikou uh, sitting in the wings, uh, ready to do its thing as well. Okay, let's go ahead and put Blitzel on the board. I'm going to hold this energy in my hand just in case I need to do another Unseen Flash. Um, but let's go ahead and just get rid of this, uh, this Garchomp. Edeos Garchomp. And we get a nice dip from our opponent. Uh, and I feel pretty good about that. I think that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good play. I think those two stalls... Um, those two stalls really worked out. And I think I almost have enough for that other deck very close very close and i am very close to this uh to this other um pack here so um instead of well eight minutes isn't that long all right let's uh let's jump into another game here and see if we can't grab that pack so let's do another storm caller see if we can't get another quick one every time i try to do this i end up with a 30 minute video but uh i hope you guys don't mind uh, and it looks like we're playing against something that I haven't seen in quite a while, or ever. Steel Sun? I'm not sure. Alright, let's call it Tails here. We won. Um, let's not go first. Okay, looks like we're going to have to take the old mulligan. Hopefully this game goes as quick as the last one. Let's hope. Yeah, feeling good. I feel good after that win. I think that was a good win. Um, feels good to beat down Garchomp anyways. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we get our Blitzel. We do have a How, a Timer Ball, Taint and Liza, so we can get our um, Worst Comes to Worst. We can get our Zep Strike on the board. Uh, maybe a Mareep with a How, I'm not sure. Um, but let's just see how things go. So we got a Slow Poke coming up, and as well as a Dull Mines. Okay. Got the old timer ball I couldn't I didn't I wasn't paying attention did I get one heads yeah okay one heads 
and it looks like we're going to be facing off against Slowbro, uh, which is okay with me. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do a Howl right off the bat just to see what we can draw, and then I'll Timer Ball. Ooh, nice. So we get the Poi Pull and the Naganadel. Um, let's go ahead and Timer Ball to try and get our Zeb Striker. Yes. Okay, let's grab our Zeb Striker. Throw that down. Um... I'll go ahead and do that next turn. So we can go ahead and flop this turn. Um, and then I will put in the Gondel. Uh, and then we'll see about howling or tantalizing next turn. I don't want to do that. Okay, let's flop. Flippity flop. Hey. Nice job. All right, Blitzel. This, uh, this art's a bit plain. I like it. It's cute. This one's pretty cool. A big old cloister on there. <laughs> I like the art on these cards. These cards are really cool. I really just like looking at the art and stuff. I remember I used to collect those uh, Marvel comic cards. Those cards were so cool. They had all the pictures and stuff like that. Okay, so we're not going to have to worry about that because we do have our Zeb Striker. Let's go ahead and put in Naganadel. Um, let's go ahead and how? Yeah, might as well. Okay, we did get our Mareep. Excellent. We got our Smeargle. Looking for that. We got our Raikou. Looking for that. Uh, let's go ahead and put in our Zebstrika. Let's go ahead and put our second energy onto Zebstrika. I don't think I want to escape rope here. Um, or energy switch. So I think we're good to go. We're just going to head bolt. And I'll wait to sprint after I taint Eliza, because I do want to play that Flaffy and that escape rope might be, might be interesting, but I don't think I'm going to use it. Let's go ahead and go for the good old head bolt. And Amnesia is going to mess us up this time, because I only have one attack on this Zip Striker. So the escape rope might, uh, might be useful after all. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and put the Flaffy in. We'll get the Ampharos in in a moment. Uh, I think I'm going to sprint. Oh, no, because I want to keep the Ampharos. Hmm. Only a bench Pokemon. I don't have any energy. I could energy switch to Smeargle and then Tate and Liza. That might be useful. And then do a stunning likeness and see if we can get something. I don't know if that's too fancy, but let's try it out. Let's go ahead and energy switch this to here. And then we'll go ahead and taint Liza with this one. I don't know if that was too fancy. Um, I'm going to keep my hand for now because I do still want to do um, get that Ampharos out. And let's go ahead and Stunning Likeness. 100. Uh, I don't think I want to... Uh, Risk the tail smash. So let's stunning likeness. I got nothing. That's okay. Beware. Okay, looks like he's uh gearing up for something. I like the art on that smeargle too. It's really good. Sort of the modernist take. I will be able to protect my Zebstrika and protect my uh, my thing here. So it looks like he's going to turn off Stunning Likeness is what I'm going to assume. Let's see. Tail Smash. Okay, so I can't do Tail Smash, which is fine because I wasn't going to do Tail Smash anyways. So let's go ahead and Ampharos now. Uh, I don't need this other Naganadel, so let's go ahead and Sprint. I will lose that escape rope, but I don't think it's going to be that useful. Um, I think I'm going to pull Smeargle, put back in Zebstrika 120. Yeah, that should work. So let's go ahead and pull Smeargle, put in Zebstrika, 
Get to the other energy onto Zepstrika. I'll have two energies in hand for that. I'm not going to use Kukui because I don't need it. Don't need Unseen Flash. Let's go ahead and charge up. Grab that energy back out of the discard pile. And let's go ahead and headbolt this thing. Okay. Okay, so that was a pretty good turn, I think. I think that worked out very well. Worked out very, very well. The Zep Strike is doing work for us today. And I super appreciate it. Okay, we're going to head off against a uh, Kukui and a Delmize. We may be able to take this Delmize out right now, and I think I'm going to be able to. Uh, maybe not, because I do still need one more energy from on my Raikou. Let's go ahead and put that there. I don't know if I want a Kukui. I don't think I need to. Let's go ahead and um, paralyze this. And I'll get these energies out here just in case I need them. Having to paralyze will be good because it won't allow this thing to escape. Uh, and then let's go ahead and head bolt it. And then I should be able to take it out next turn with kind of anything. I think this is going to work out pretty well. It looks like my po my opponent is not getting any uh, any of his basic Pokemon, which is uh, unfortunate for him. Okay, no energy in there for our Naganadel to take advantage of. I think this is going pretty well. I think uh, I think this deck is pretty good, but I do want to try out that other uh, lava deck, the volcano one. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just still learning this deck, and it's just uh, it's just going to be one of those things that I just got to keep learning over time. Okay, I don't need the switch. So I'm going to leave the Zeb Strika in. Let's get this on here. Let's hold on to this, and let's go ahead and uh, head bolt again and kill this Delmize. Uh, and I think we're just going to have to just keep picking through our, uh, picking through our opponent's lineup here. Uh, depending on how many Pokemon he's going to be able to draw this time. But next turn I can pull out the Zep Striker with the Switch and definitely kill the Slowpoke. Uh, and then whatever else this thing is going to do. 60. So I could, I do need to th be th uh, have in mind this Split Bomb as well um, for anything that's weak out, up on the board. Okay, I don't think I want to do any of that. Let's go ahead and Kukui this time so I can keep Zeb Strika in. Um, I'll put an energy onto Naganadel. Let's Kukui. That's fine. I don't need to worry about any of that. Uh, actually, this would be a good uh, a good opportunity to copycat, but um, but let's go ahead and head bolt. I don't think I want that many cards in my hand. So we'll be able to take that out, um, and yeah, like I said, we'll just keep on chipping away at our at our opponent's board. Um, see how many Pokemon he's able to get out, uh, and even if he if he gets the evolution on this, um, Raikou can do some pretty big damage. Uh, Naganadel right now can do some really big damage because we do have those three prize cards. So whatever our opponent wants to put in right now. Um, will pretty much kind of get eaten alive uh, even this cause meom so let's go ahead and take that out with Naganadel. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that let's teleport you okay that works so we can just take that out too so um, that's no big deal <clears throat> excuse me let's uh let's fully charge up Naganadel. um I was going to say let's copycat, but I think I want to keep this switch in my hand. So I think I'm going to hold off from doing that. Let's go ahead and kill this thing. Because it looks like the only thing this thing can do is uh, is teleport. And even if he gets the third, the stage two on this, 
Um, like I said, uh, well, Naganadel can't do anything now, uh, or can't do some big damage, but, uh, but Raikou can still do big damages. Um, so I don't think we're gonna have to worry about this, uh, Solgaleo. That's pretty cool. I like that. Neat looking Pokemon. Hey, Fangs of the Sun. Not too bad. Hopefully he uses it on Zebstrika and not on Raikou. Excellent. So we're not going to have to worry about that big one um, coming out uh, on our next Pokemon. And I think I'm going to put in 90, 110, 110, 20. So that's only 120. This one is pretty much not 160. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Put the Raikou in. We don't have to worry about getting Fangs of the Sun next turn. Um, mm, I think I want to copycat this time. Pokemon Fan Clubs. I don't think that's going to get us anything useful. Ultra Balling, I don't think it's going to get us anything useful. Let's go ahead and copycat and see if we can't draw some energy. Maybe I can uh maybe I can get a nice paralyze on this thing. Yeah, that looks better. And we also have our rescue stretcher, so I think I can pull my Zepstrika out. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull Zepstrika out. And we'll get Zepstrika back in with our Blitzel. Bang. Um, and then let's also put an energy. No, let's keep our energy in our hand and let's go ahead and What does this do? 50 damage to one Pokemon. Okay, so I don't have to worry about Fangs of the Sun or anything like that. So let's go ahead and just do a lost voltage We'll get the big 120. We don't have to worry about taking a big hit on this one and um yeah i think we're gonna be able to take it out i think we're gonna be able to to go from here this game worked out pretty well i think this game worked out pretty well um i think my opponent's been really trying to catch up the entire game though uh, so that's kind of unfortunate that they've been on the back foot and not really being able to fight but i think we've been keeping them down uh, i think i've been making some pretty good plays uh even though my opponent has been holding on uh sort of by a uh by a um a thread and uh and it looks like he's not even going to be able to kill smeargle so hey i'll take it okay very nice so we did not take very much damage at all so uh this soul galio so galio is going to be going down um i don't let's put in zeb striker I'm going to put one energy on Zebstrika and keep two in hand just in case we need it, which I don't think we will. Uh, let's go ahead and kill this thing. Yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. We got one more uh, prize card left. And this time we can um, paralyze and, uh, and not really have to worry about much. Uh, looks like uh, my opponent's taking out his frustration on Naganadel, uh, which is okay with me. Uh, let's go ahead and I think we're good. I think we're going to uh, go ahead and Unseen Flash. We'll do these two. And then let's go ahead and Lost Voltage. And that should should put us in a in a really good spot right now. So I don't think we're gonna have to worry about Fangs of the Sun, and that puts him puts that Sol Sol Galio uh, in a really good position for us to kill it with kind of whatever whatever we had. Even with the big Malasada um, and Fangs of the Sun, uh, this thing's still going down from Naganadel. So not too bad, not too bad at all.
Actually, we could kill it with Zeb Strika. Do I want to do that? Do I want to risk it? Do I want to risk not getting an energy on this turn to just to kill it with Zeb Strika? <clears throat> I do have Lily, or I have kill it Kahili. Nah, let's take. Let's let's not be cheeky. Let's not be cheeky. Let's not. Okay, just, that's a good thing I didn't do that. Um, so let's go ahead and turning point and get rid of this thing. And it looks like we're done. So uh, hats off to my opponent. Um, very nicely done. Um, yeah. You know what? I started. I started today. Started this video um, with some doubts about this deck, um, and I end it with uh, some non-doubts about this deck. Some sureties about this deck. Definitely, Zeb Striker is our uh, MVP. Um, so I think that was fun, and we did get the the pack. So let's uh, let's reward ourselves and crack this baby open. I think we have a little bit of time. Um, Lost Thunder. Uh, Alright, let's hit up the shop. Oh no, it's a collection, isn't it? Whatever. Alright, let's crack this baby open and see what we got. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Okay. This is cool, this Larvitar. Ha, <laughs> I like that. That's so cool. Ausbender. Cutie Fly, Combi, Litleo. I really like this sort of little sand thing. It's so cool. All right, let's do our turn over, see what we got. Bang. We got a two cannon, an incredibly boring two cannon. Um, so that wasn't as good as that uh, as uh, some of our other packs. But um, I hope you guys had a really fun time watching, had a really fun time playing, and, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.